this is my review on the 19 1997 Jungle to Jungle, and no, it's not spelled Jungle as in the word to. It's not. It's spelled wrong. It's uh, it's the title spelled wrong. It's spelled Jungle with the letter to instead of the instead of T O to Jungle. So. Already, this one's confusing me, but based on the title, but uh, the content was in the film is much more confusing. Trust me. Uh, so, um, this is uh, Tim Allen's. I think a, I think was what was Josh called st stock. Rogue Grace, and that's what they call his job is a stockbroker. And he's a business guy that's trying to close a deal on something uh, so he can get money, enough, he'll get more money. And, uh, and, um, he can't go on with his life and it was his job and stuff because he. His wife has hold off the divorce papers of getting a divorce for some reason. So he goes to the uh, Indians that are now called Native Americans now these these days. So um, and to apparently that's where her with a psychotic deranged wife is. That's both our parents of a. Uh, Indian child that is white. Now he knows that Tim Allen's his father somehow because his wife told him sometime off screen before the movie began, I guess. So, um, and, uh, he promised to take his boy to New York when he's a, a grown, when he's a grown man. <laughs> but he says it says when he becomes a man he will be taken to India and he'll take him to New York when he's a grown man because he just doesn't want child, his child running around the streets which uh yeah and he has a pet spider that uh, his father like bravely tries to murder but uh, his the son is not horrified by that his father kills the spider. But he tries to kill the spider and calls it Chico. He just finds it amusing. And that's before he finds out the spider is actually his pet. Okay. Uh, so um, he finds out that day he is going to be a Nami a man. How people become a man in the, this tribe of where he lives is that they get nominated to be a man. <laughs> not, not just by age and wisdom and experience. Ugh, or grow maturing into adulthood. No, no, they just like side out. One day, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> Those tried to all the all decides he's a man. So that means that the kid says it's time for the for his old man to pay off on his debt. <laughs> and of course the mother sides was the head the kid. Why? Because she doesn't see what could go wrong in a kid who and yes, he is a kid, he's not a man, he's a stupid kid. Because he does she he and she of what's wrong with the film, the boy and the mother. Because she doesn't see what could go wrong in a kid traveling to New York with his father that he that needs to close it, that needs to do business on, and needs to take business workouts and needs to work really hard to pay the bills. <laughs> she just sees that he's just being selfish and lazy. She doesn't see his, his schedule is booked. She just sees him as being so lazy. So what does she do? She pure pressures him into giving into the kid's selfish bratty needs. 
I know, so, uh, yeah, um, the kid doesn't have any fucking clothes on, and I bet the mother didn't thought of, like, didn't thought of, uh, didn't thought of, come, for some reason, didn't want to come, and the mother also didn't, like, like, didn't actually told, uh, didn't talk some sense to the kid that this is a bad idea, come, come to, you know, dressed like how he's dressed, with no clothes, and there's a skirt around his junk. And his ass crack, too. Well, his face is painted and with feathers in his head, so. And, uh. So. Yeah. So he takes the plane back with with his father or his old man, uh, Tim Allen, in uh, to America in New York, New York City, because his boy wants to explore New York and see live his dream of seeing the uh, Eiffel Tower. I think that's what it's called. No, the Statue of Liberty, not the Eiffel Tower. I can confuse up because uh, so. So, yeah, the arrived team you know, with his partners fucks up the deal. Because he did not confirm, so he didn't took the deal. And closed it. Because Tim Allen did not confirm, and that's exactly what Tim Allen's orders were, were his instructions were. If he confirms or don't confirm, it depends on if the vinyl should take the deal. So he did not confirm. So he did not take the stock broke deal. <laughs> so he lost money. <laughs> lost his business opportunity of a lifetime. So. Yeah. So he lives with his like father now. In New York. Yeah. Uh, and before he went to his house, he says he got to go fight the chief. <laughs> but the boy saying that means murder the chief. Of course, fight means murder. It makes sense to me. Uh, although to be fair, like in usually in enter, usually in Indian movies, they usually say fight when that means like one person will come out alive. And then kill it just on me, he's just following those Indian movie logic. So, he releases his chica, the spider, the tarantula, the poison tarantula, supposedly, is poison. So, he tries to end up, what's it was, so Tim Allen sees his spider and ends up. Make an ass of himself in front of his boss. Just so the boss doesn't, uh, get bit by the spider to save his boss life, so he doesn't also look at the spider. And also, so the spider doesn't get murdered, or his boss get murdered. So, so he ends up having to make an ass of himself. And make himself look like a total, complete buffoon. <laughs> and next thing you know, Look, his kid is climbing the bell side of the building. And, you know, he thinks, assuming the kid's trying to commit suicide, but, uh, he's just like, uh, he, so he was, Tim Allen, dude, like, then tells him to come back in recently with some, with the, the lady down in law with parental authority. Nope. He, he kind of climbs out the building also himself to get the kid. And, uh,. Unfortunately, neither of them died, so this movie goes on. <laughs> and, uh... 
So the thing is, the light goes every single south, and uh, kids fight kids on fucking things, obviously. Because nobody will parent the kid and explain how things work different in America and New York. Which is what his father is supposed to be doing because the mother then came. So he's now living with his old man and then he gets... His uh, new girlfriend that he has a happy life with uh, now actually leaves because look, the kid was peeked at under the curtains when, the, when this girl was sleeping and uh, she's on all so he just like decides to look at her ass or her vagina and calls it a bushy boo it's unclear what he looked at it this doesn't show what he looked at exactly but he can he just looks like he was impressed he just says this in this comment so and after after she wakes up she screams and sees or him what he's what he's looking at she's like he's looking at her uh, some of her, one of her private parts and uh so that's when he says nice bushy boo to him i mean he says that to her so um So anyway, uh, she leaves and doesn't want to have anything. It will like will move back into Tim Allen's life when uh, the son goes home because I guess that was uh, then also the uh, getting freaked out by Chico the tarantula was too much for it to take over uh, overnight. And also she woke up with the uh, the kid checking her out in the morning the next day. While he's hunting for wild animals in the wilderness. That's why he shoot an arrow in the bird. <laughs> oh, I didn't mention that. Yeah. He, sh he, he shoots. This movie has tons of animal cruelty all, all over it. Um, so he shoots a bird through and through with a bow and arrow and hits it right in the gut. <laughs> through and through and uh makes the old lady probably have a heart attack after she finishes screaming when she was feeding her birds so she commit he commit murder to the old lady's pet probably or guest of the old lady's next door in the apartment that Tim Allen's in his well uh girl living so which I think that that's his fiance or his wife one of those things anyway so uh yeah um So, uh, you have to understand, this came a very more innocent, simpler time when animal cruelty was accepted. Poison docks were accepted in society for children's movies like these. So that's why the, all this stuff is in the movie. Too bad this movie's a piece of shit. Uh, so, then he moves in his... Then the kid falls in love when he moves in his pinus place. And... Lives there. And, uh, hits on this girl. And... Drives this girl into this Indian culture. By giving her a new name. And erasing her old name from the history. And says, you are not this name. You are no longer this name now. And she's like this, uh, and ah, uh, he like, like she's like, no, I'm not frown freaked out by this. <laughs> so, um, next day, 
you see that he was playing the moves on her, but really it was actually the other way around. She was playing the moves on him. She comes clean to old man to clarify it, that he wasn't playing the moves on me, I was playing the moves on him. <laughs> and like, and uh, the, uh, Tim Allen's partner, who's the father of the daughter, uh, is like a... Uh, Horrify, <laughs> and no, she's screwed at <laughs> this rate. So, notice how I talk to the film, talk to you about these the film, about the film, for the film. Nobody really parents the kid at all, at all. Nobody talks to the kid what he should. And shouldn't do in New York, in America. That was Tim Allen's job, and he doesn't even do it. He never sits down to have a conversation with the kid and gives him adv advice and then tells him what he was okay to do in this country, but not okay to do in some other uh, in this in the other country where he's, it's like uh, he doesn't tell the doesn't explain the difference, doesn't teach the kid right from wrong at all, not even once. I mean, he tries to once, but he sucked at it. This was when uh, the kid asked him, uh, "Why you ha why you only pick one? There's so many beautiful women in your in your in your village, Nabu. Why do you only pick for one? Nabu is uh, that's what he refers to his father, Nabu. Uh, uh, <laughs> why do you only pick one? <laughs> why do you only pick one? <laughs> and he just like says. He says this, well, when you find the right one, is very different. That's the best advice he gave. That's the one that he gives. Wiz tries to give Wiz, though. <laughs> I've seen really, really shitty fortune cookies where you give better wisdom than this. Joker, you know, is this... He sucks at this parenting. So, uh, yeah. So the Russian deal with the Russians go south, and now they're ready to kill this family. And uh, Chico and Tim Allen's father saves the day by terrorizing the Russians. After they break in the house, uh, there's partner lives at Tim Allen's partner, uh, work partner lives at. And they end up running away, and uh, the boy f holds up the spider, fretting them, and will hold them, holding the spider to their faces. If they don't leave, and this, they leave. It's just, that's all it took. Kind of anticlimactic, but anyway, that means the movie's ending. Because now it's time for. Tim Allen now, and also Tim Allen's character, Nabu, which is the child refers to him as Nabu constantly, never as dad or father, because I guess Nabu means father Indian in this world. I don't know if that's right in the real world. I'm not really sure Nabu's real world ever, ever was a real world for Indians using. So, uh, they have this nice tender moment, yeah, nice tender moment with just the two of them. Uh, the fa father and son have this nice tender moment when they say the goodbyes, it's really nice and all. And, uh, he says that, uh, if you ever kill, a, if you ever kill, uh, kill an animal with, with this, with this poison dad, you will, you, you, you can come to see, you come and see me, and then you're instantly, uh, already in the end. Now, bull. We'll, As in he's closer, in the, in the, which also would bring them closer together. Uh, so he, uh... Tries... The poison died. When he gets home. 
and he shoots it with a cat, his cat that he lives with in his house, and then he shoots in his foot, <laughs> and then somehow he's still alive, and then he shoots it at his boss <laughs> in the back, and poisons the dot, uses the poison dot on his boss. <laughs> After he, uh, after him and his boss got a great uh, b business deal done, he backstabs him post frequently and literally in the back with a poison dot. <laughs> the kid said, kill an animal, not a human. <laughs> I guess he just says so use the logical to well oh mammals <laughs> Oh god I'm going to hell So And that those attempts was a poison dot those attempts of poison died uh, before the boss attempt. I remember it happened early on in the film when he was playing with the kid's stuff without his permission. And, uh, the boss, he had the boss game of poison that happened at the end of the film when the, when the film was about to wrap up. So he goes to see, which means now that he's like poison, he's taking a poison deck and he murdered his boss. In the back was a poison dot. It was a poison blow dot. <laughs> and, his, and his work by his co-worker upon his easily, easily trumped. I like wondering what the fuck is, did he do? <laughs> He's looking at him like this. <laughs> and he says, and Tim Hobbs, he says this good thing that he committed murder. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, he doesn't get arrested or anything, or committed, which would be the logical conclusion. No, he gets to see his kid again. And decides he wants to live, not get divorced, and just so he can live with his kid, and see his kid all the time, who he barely got to know in the react structure of the movie. And only shared one tender moment together when they were saying good goodbye. So, but uh, hey, it's the end of the film. So look at the bright side. It's the end of the film. That's how the film ends. Oh, and also, best of all, the kid re reunites with his lover because his lover and also the family of rest of her family decide to go live in India. <laughs> India was the Native Americans, the Indians. They decided they all want to live with the Indians now. I just. By course! You know. This movie's pretty fucking stupid. This gets a zero out of ten. I mean, I will say I find enjoyment in this. Like, for, I mean, I will say for, I started laughing a few times, before, but I'm not sure why I started laughing. I just thought I was laughing because I was going in senile, insane, in other words. And uh, because I was laughing also because I think I was impressed how dumb this movie is. I guess if you want to write this off as a guilty pleasure, you could. But I'm not going to do that because I don't. I think that film wants me to give that. Uh, the give the. I don't. I think that's like. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I think the film. If I give that, give it the benefit of the doubt of a guilty pleasure, as in, is I enjoy it. As kind of, guilty pleasure for me is like guilty, but I have nothing good to say about it. But I just enjoy it anyway. Uh, so I feel like if I didn't do, did do that, I feel like that would be giving what the film what it wants. And rewarding him for being lazy. And, um... So I'm not going to do that. Because... It's kind of like when you get... It's kind of like when you're getting poked and poked and poked in the back. And someone just wants your attention and... You, uh, and it's poking for no reason, you don't know why, and, just, and he won't be clear with you for the 
or like when someone gives you like a wet willy, someone it's like best best way can play is this is like kind of like what happens when you get a, this is like a singing a wet willy from someone, like you know. You feel like the movie's asking to piss you off. And wants you to get pissed off. Or it's it's like No, I'm not using the right words again. I, it feels like it feels like this movie this movie's misbehaving just so it wants me to give it give it the benefit of the doubt of being a guilty pleasure is what I'm trying to say. So I just give it a zero out of ten and I'm this it's crap, my movie. I, I'm getting confused now. I will say the one good thing the film has going for is the casting, even though the rain is absolutely shit and the effects are shit. And the costumes are are on the kiss kind of shitty. It looks like um came in the fifties era of costume making. Or well, the sixties era, nineteen sixty six specifically. Anyway, uh yeah, this this movie outside having a really solid cast and uh, everyone's doing a good job. It's nothing to say good to say about the film because I just hate every moment of this movie is other than the cast, you know. Um, the kid actor that plays a kid, Tim Allen's kid, in this movie is really a good kid actor. I I, I guess he's like. I don't know, I can't remember what else he's done, but I think he did do, went on to do other stuff than this, so good for him, because when I Google his name, his, his 